70 near Evergreen. Woo and you can see the, the traffic moving nicely. And when we talk about Evergreen, Dave, there it is green up that direction. Look yeah, yeah. And if you look at the uh, the sky there, they've got blue skies from there looking out west. But we've got a little colder air kind of just sitting in right over us here. We are socked in with the gray skies and clouds uh, over our area. And in fact, take a look. Here it is. There it is for you. The mousetrap camera. Clouds hanging in here. It's colder air and cold air kind of just uh, has a little problem going up the mountains, but eventually it will. And they'll see some thunderstorms up there this afternoon as well. So our weather watchers all checking in uh, this morning. A lot of really nice temperatures to show you. Pam Bostwick in Littleton has 62 this morning. And Ed Team down in Alamosa has 45 degrees to start you off. Now, satellite and radar together. Two things coming together here. Colder air coming in at the surface and then up at the altitude a little cloud cover and some smoke transport from some of those fires. You can see them coming together here right over northeastern areas of Colorado and boom, there we are, socked in with clouds. The colder is that gray area you see right there and then the high clouds coming in from down south. So the mixture is what's giving us a gray skies this morning. There's the front on the bigger picture. Now as this moves through and pushes all the way down into Oklahoma this afternoon, there's going to be a trigger with another little system. You could see the rain and some of the high, high mountain snow up here in Wyoming. That little system is going to come in and that'll be the trigger for the thunderstorms to develop during the afternoon. And that's the reason we have a severe weather outlook for all of eastern Colorado, including Denver, all the way to the Kansas line, possible hail storms and maybe one or two isolated tornadoes. Here's how it sets up this afternoon. Might get a little sprinkle around noon. And then I really think about 3 o'clock, we start to see these thunderstorms really fire up from Denver out over the eastern plains, and that's when they could get heavy duty. And it may continue into the evening tonight. Temperature-wise, there's the cool down for you, 70s and 80s over the eastern plains. Big improvement over where we have been the last couple of days. So 74 today, 50% chance of those thunderstorms this afternoon. And then, boom, we dry it out to Tomorrow, 87 degrees, mostly sunny. And then to welcome in the 4th of July, some heat for you. Low 90s, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Just a slight chance on the 4th of a late day shower or thunderstorm. So it's going to be 100% summertime, I think, for the 4th around here. And, of course, as we get close to the 4th, we always worry about those winds and blowing the fireworks and all of that. That could happen, yeah. And I, think, I don't think it's going to be too crazy. But if you get one of those uh, thunderstorms close by, you'll have a little gust going. All right. Thank okay, you, Okay, you bet. Dockless bikes and scooters are coming back to Denver. They were banned earlier this month.